two, one, and go. Television is a group effort. When we write TV news scripts, those scripts must be so clear that everyone, producer, director, anchor, crew, all understand what we want. This video will explain how to script some of the typical short stories done in TV news. We'll take the same story and show how it can be done seven different ways. The box up there will show you what to write in the video column, the video instructions. The box opposite will show the audio, the same planned words the anchor will see in the teleprompter. The box down here will show some of what the crew is doing in response to the script directions. And I will add some explanatory notes here as well. Finally, this box shows the program as it would appear on the audience's television. So let's start with a very simple story form. Then let's move up, adding new elements each time. Knox County's Election Commission this morning decided to stick with its plan to close Belmorris Elementary School as a voting location. Neighbors presented a petition with more than 160 signatures to reopen the location. The panel's two Democrats wanted to open the school for voting, but the group's three Republicans opted to keep it closed. Knox County's Election Commission this morning decided to stick with its plan to close Bell Morris Elementary School as a voting location. Neighbors presented a petition with more than 160 signatures to reopen the location. The panel's two Democrats wanted to open the school for voting, but the group's three Republicans opted to keep it closed. Knox County's Election Commission this morning stuck by its plan to close Bell Morris Elementary School as a voting location. Neighbors said the original reason for closing Bell Morris as a voting site were false. They noted the school has handicap access and adequate parking. Former County Commissioner Mark Harmon presented a petition with more than 100 signatures to reopen the location. The panel's two Democrats wanted to open the schools for voting, but the group's three Republicans opted to keep it closed. Knox County's Election Commission this morning stuck by its plan to close Bell Morris Elementary School as a voting location. Neighbors said the original reasons for closing Bell Morris as a voting site were false. They noted the school has handicapped access and adequate parking. Former County Commissioner Mark Harmon presented a petition with more than 160 signatures to reopen the location. The panel's two Democrats wanted to open the school for voting, but the group's three Republicans opted to keep it closed. As people in our, in our district were not actually notified, the first first thing I knew about a change in voting place was a new voter registration card. Uh, I think we should have had a lot of discussion about this prior to this happening. Knox County Election Commission this morning stuck by its plan to close Bell Morris Elementary School as a voting location. Neighbors said the original reasons for closing Bell Morris as a voting site were false. They noted the school has handicapped access and adequate parking. Former County Commissioner Mark Harmon presented a petition with more than 160 signatures to reopen the location. The panel's two Democrats wanted to open the school for voting, but the group's three Republicans opted to keep it closed. As people in our, in our district were not actually notified, the first, first thing I knew about a change in voting place was a new voter registration card. Uh, I think we should have had a lot of discussion about this prior to this happening. Voters from the area now are merged with another precinct, all voting at the Larry Cox Senior Center. Voters in both neighborhoods have worried about adequate parking there on Election Day, November 6th. Knox County's Election Commission this morning stuck by its plan to close Bell Morris Elementary School as a voting location. Neighbors said the original reasons for closing Bell Morris as a voting site were false. They know that the school has handicapped access and adequate parking. Former County Commissioner Mark Harmon presented a petition with more than 160 signatures to reopen the location. The panel's two Democrats wanted to open the school for voting, but the group's three Republicans opted to keep it closed. As people in our, in our district were not actually notified, the first, first thing I knew about a change in voting place was a new voter registration card. Uh, I think we should have had a lot of discussion about this prior to this happening. 
Voters from the area are now merged with another precinct, all voting at Larry Cox Senior Center. Voters in both neighborhoods have worried about adequate parking on Election Day, November 6th. Knox County's Election Commission this morning stuck by its plan to close Bell Morris Elementary School as a voting location. Neighbors said the original reasons for closing Bell Morris as a voting site were false. They noted the school has handicapped access and adequate parking. Former County Commissioner Mark Harmon presented a petition with more than 160 signatures to reopen the location. The panel's two Democrats wanted to open the school for voting, but the group's three Republicans opted to keep it closed. As people in our, in our district were not actually notified, the first, first thing I knew about a change in voting place was a new voter registration card. Oh, I think we should have had a lot of discussion about this prior to this happening. My main, con my main concern here was Bob Bowman's uh, assertion that this is the wrong place to bring the issue. Uh, I mean, that is, there is no place in the public forum for them to tell you you should have been talking to us privately rather than openly in this, in this forum. If the community wants something and, and they don't have a real strong uh, case for why they should do something other than what the community wants, I think you really need to go with what the community wants. And clearly, uh, a, a majority of the people in the Bill Morris area want Bill Morris as a polling place. Voters from the area now are merged with another precinct, all voting at the Larry Cox Senior Center. Voters in both neighborhoods have worried about adequate parking there on Election Day, November 6th. TV news also needs longer forms, like packages, live shots, but those are topics for another day or maybe another video. If you master these short forms, you are well on your way to writing good television news scripts.